Welcome to Live with Aaron and Kelly. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly B. Dolan. And it's time for an all-out galaxy big romping stomping show. No, I, I seriously, you guys, everybody knows we go crazy over like the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor. Wait, wait, wait. did you just like, say Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes, yes. And I have to give a huge shout out to Guardians of the Galaxy because I think it was funnier than half the comedies that came out this year. It was hysterical. <laughs> you know what? I will give it you was that. So I did not. Well written. Okay, can I say this really quick? Sorry, we're so excited. When I <laughs> went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy, I thought I'm going to enjoy some cool, you know, a lot of. Uh, uh, special effects i didn't know really much and i'm a comic book guy i did not expect anything from the movie because i didn't know enough about the movie honestly and then i was like everybody and i know you are listening to this and watching this and thinking this yourself you were blown away <laughs> and i saw it twice you did in 3d well, now, okay now i'm once. a little jealous because yes. i only saw it once <laughs> yes no i went i went back and i'm i'm thinking about taking maybe somebody else to go see it a third time <laughs> Oh, you're hooked. Wait, okay. I'm sitting hooked. right here, uh, Aaron. <laughs> I'm thinking about taking someone. Oh, oh. I would love Wait, to go. Wait, but you already saw it. Take, I you would, already saw I it. I just said I was jealous. Did I couldn't see it, see it again. No. Oh. Okay, but the whole reason then you're, why. Then you're welcome to come. The whole reason with why. With whoever I'm taking. Well, the whole reason why we're even freaking out, if you just tuned into Live with Aaron and Kelly, is because we're going to have none other than Tom Proctor Woo! on the show today. Yeah! We are so excited. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his character's name right, but it's Horus. Hor Horus? Hor Horus or something. Horus? It's H O R U Z. It's an alien name. It's okay. Um, but he was in <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, and we're super excited. But not only do we have him on the show, oh my gosh, Twitter yes. peeps out there, you guys have been You've hitting been me up. You've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it. We mm -hmm. have Jesse Pavelka Woo! on the show. Jesse Pavelka. <laughs> oh my god. But before we get to Mr. Handsome Jesse Pavelka, Aaron, <laughs> how was your week? Mr. Drop Dead, gorgeous. Uh, every girl wants to find out his Twitter address. Um, my week was fantastic. Uh, I'm trying to think what happened this week. There was so much, really. How was your week? My week was fantastic. I'm actually going to Indianapolis tomorrow with Step It Up. For more information on our Step It Up workshop, you can go nice. to stepituppllc.com or you can email us at stepituppco at gmail.com and I have to give a huge shout out we accepted a couple of our first dancers to come to the 2015 intensive over the summer and one of the girls in particular we talk about GoFundMe all the time on yeah, the show yeah. this young lady she actually went to GoFundMe.com and she is raising $3,000 so that she can Aww. come to the Step It Up intensive. And she's already started to raise wow. money. So I want to give a huge shout out to Jasmine Doris. We accepted her. She's an amazing dancer from the Midwest. And she's trying to raise $3,000 between now and May. Wow. I think that's totally attainable. If you want to sponsor her, you can go to GoFundMe.com forward slash DN2G2G. That's GoFundMe.com forward slash DN2G2G. I will post that on my Twitter and my Facebook. And if you have questions mm -hmm. about the organization and what it does for the girls, you can check out our one of our last shows that we had of the mm -hmm. Step It Up Red Car event which you can hear the excitement Casting not only directors. from the people that yeah not only the people the girls that went but also those that were involved in helping them and it's just it's awesome now we got to talk really quick about a good news giveaway, giveaway. Oh that's my God, right i'm so excited you know we had la femme film festival here in studio a few weeks ago and they have uh since then spoken to us we said you know you have a great festival a lot of people want to go and they said we will give you not one, but two VIP passes. And these aren't just any VIP passes. What are these, Kelly? Okay, so the VIP passes, they include everything. You can go to the panels. You can go to the screenings. And what? they just added that you can go to the award show. Now you're thinking, okay, I get a VIP the award pass. award show, it's a gala. I get a VIP pass, but am I going to go by myself? No, they are allowing you to bring a guest to all the panels, all the screenings, and the award show. Oh, boom, that boom, is boom, a $300 boom. value, a $300 value that they're giving away. And we're giving yes. away two of those. Two so of those. how do you go about this? Um, so Aaron cool. will be creating an event. In, yes. In, you're you're going to want to follow us on Facebook, uh -huh. facebook.com forward slash live with Aaron and Kelly. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a YouTube as well. So we're going to have two different uh, separate ones. We're going to give one through the Facebook 
uh, contest, and then we have a YouTube contest. So you're going to want to follow that. If you have any questions, you must follow us at Aaron M. Sanchez and Kelly V. Dolan. Even if you catch us on Instagram or Twitter uh -huh. and you have questions about this giveaway, the dates of the actual uh, film festival, I believe it starts on the 16th and ends on the 20th. Uh, there's going to be panels, yes. but you can go to lafemme.org for more information. That's L A. F E M M E dot org for and more information. And again, this award ceremony on Sunday is awesome. And then the yes. dinner after is, just, I, or well, I don't know if they have dinner, but the awards, you know, the after party, everything's a party there. And I have to say, even if, even if you just want to go to every after party, it's awesome. But you know, just when it comes to the filmmaking and the process, it's awesome. Now we're going to have to go to our interview with the biggest loser, Jesse Pavelka. That's Here right. it is. Welcome to Live with Aaron and Kelly. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And we have with us, I'm so excited because I have to say like 10 minutes into it, I was crying and sobbing. Then I had to have like, like napkins to my eyes because my eyes were watering. Jesse Pavelka of The Biggest Loser of this season. I have to say, Jesse, you got me crying, brother. Oh, well... <laughs> I didn't mean to make that happen, but I guess it does with this with this show. So <laughs> exactly <laughs> now, now Jesse, before we jump yeah. into it, I gotta say when I posted this on Twitter that we were going to interview you, I thought my Twitter was gonna have a breakdown. I literally thought that I was gonna be not be able to get on Twitter because there were so many questions, not only questions but comments. So I have to congratulate your wife for snatching you up because there are so many women that are like, oh my gosh, tell him I said hi, come visit me. How are you and your wife <laughs> handling all of this or has it always been like this? It's, you know, we, uh, you have two, two different parts of your life. You have your career, what we do, and, and my job is, you know, I'm a trainer, but a part of that is, I guess, what you're talking about. <laughs> and then we have, you know, you have your relationship, and I think you have to you have to separate the two. <laughs> I have no idea how to answer this. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> does she wait? Wait, does she read your Twitter? That's all yeah, I want to know. And how does that yeah, go over? Do, is there ever any feedback that she gives you? <laughs> I think she avoids it now. I think she learned her lesson a while back. But uh, you know, it's. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, congratulations. You guys are making me blush right now. <laughs> well, congratulations on becoming, um, you know, the trainer for The Biggest Loser. I understand that you also um, had hopes and dreams of actually getting getting into acting as well, and you were a trainer on Friday Night Lights. Is that correct? I, I did some stunt work on Friday Night Lights, and uh, Peter Bird called me out to uh, a group of people and had me do a few lines, but that was, that was really it. That actually started my that was my intro into tv i kind of saw the potential and i loved the, the community and the people that, that that were on set it was a really kind of it was a really cool experience um so that started everything for me really i i love how in the show uh it, it talked it, it kind of very briefly talked about your background as uh you know playing football and then you kind of shared your own experience of how you know you come away from like football or a big like like many of these athletes from a big life and now you got to come back into the real yeah. world and you know what was that transition for you like you know i think you you dedicate your life to this thing this this activity and it becomes religion it becomes something kind of bigger than you and then you realize that this relationship that you have with this inanimate thing this thing that isn't real <laughs> just something you do is over because you can't do it forever and there's this massive void that you have to you have to fill and for me it was uh it took a while actually the one thing i did know that, is that i loved moving i loved exercise and i was really good at it and i was really good at transforming my physique and uh so it was kind of a no-brainer I, I i turned to training right away so i got lucky but some people quit it's like what am I going to do? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, I, feel, I feel fortunate. For some people, you know, they, they go searching for years and years. And I got, uh, you know, it was about a 6 to 12 month period, and I figured it out. So. <laughs> well, I, I, I have to just say, because we've lost so many greats, you know, after football or after in, in some uh, sports organizations, they come away from this, yeah. and then, and some have committed suicide. So, I mean, this is a really life transforming thing, which you're transforming a lot of lives on this show. 
Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people, they think glory days, it's athletes, and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, some people can't relate, but at the end of the day, these guys, you know, they were at the top of their game, and they lost everything. These guys are completely humbled, they're vulnerable, and they, uh, they're no different than the viewer. These guys are their husbands, their wives, they're, they're, they're no different than the people watching the show, and it's, uh, it, 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 I think it's inspiring to the person watching, because it, uh, these were their heroes, and now they're here, you know? So it's, uh, it's a powerful message. Absolutely. And now your job is to train them. And so oftentimes when you're in that position of training or teaching, not only are, are they learning something, but you yourself are learning something. Have you learned anything in particular from an individual on the show so far? Uh, you know what? They teach me more than I teach them. I'll mm-hmm. tell you that right now. It's a give and take. And these guys, uh, you really get to see what the human spirit can do. You mm-hmm. get to see how a human can overcome adversity. You get to see some really painful places, but you also get to see the light. And I think that that's a, for me, you know, as an outsider looking into their stories and into, uh, into their lives, it's, uh, it's, uh, I wish, I wish people could actually be on the ranch when the cameras were off because it's a really amazing thing that happened. Well, I, and, and I love this year how, how they're going, even though they think they're, they've are they lost, they get another chance. I mean, talk about how yeah. many chances. That's awesome. I have to go real, <laughs> right? I, 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 I wish life gave us that many chances. Uh, now, I, I want to say really quick, uh, Jesse, we have a couple interview uh, interview questions from really the fan base, yeah. which are the yeah. ones really watching this and, and you know, tweeting and Facebooking uh, your show. One of them is actually from a, a close friend of ours, Catherine Shand. Mm-hmm. She saw that we had posted that we okay. were going to interview you and she's from the UK so this is her viewpoint from the UK she says who are more motivated to lose weight the British or the Americans she loves your UK show <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I think at the end of the day we're all people and, uh, oh, safe on, answer <laughs> <laughs> he's like wait I want to go back to the UK and not <laughs> alienate them and not <laughs> be over here in America no, but seriously is there a different mentality between the two is there a different mentality uh, I think there's more accessibility for the bad stuff here okay there's more accessibility for the things that can cause you to go in the wrong direction oh. um, but at the same time at the same time if someone wants to make a bad decision they're going to make it um, that's true okay. so it's it's an interesting thing. It's weird because working in the UK, I, I love I love the Brit. I, obviously, I'm from the US, and I love Americans. <laughs> the UK reminds your passport's me okay still. They have not revoked <laughs> your passport. You're okay to come here. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking that line. You can right. tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just <laughs> people from the UK are salt of the earth, and that's a compliment. These people are from the earth. These people are they're very. Uh, you know, I, I do seminars and workshops there, and these guys are just so open. But at the same time, I, I'm from Texas, and it's the same thing. It's, it, these guys are open. They, they, you know, they've seen the worst, but they want the best. And uh, it doesn't really change that much. Very good. Now, we're going to go to another question from Twitter. Suzanne underscore 99 says, How do you manage that everything that you say on the show seems to be inspirational? <laughs> well, you have to understand that there's a lot of things I say. They just cut it, so I'm in straight. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. But... I think you, know, you you want to give these guys an experience. You want to say things that are going to change their life or give them some sort of motivation, right? So you have to think about every word. You have to think about every conversation you have with these guys, and it's important. So there's a lot of thought that goes into your approach, whether it be the physical side or the uh, you know the words that you use. It's uh, it's a big thing for the trainers, and we have to put a lot of thought into our approach and the people we're we're talking to. So I think that that. That's really where it comes from. It comes from a thoughtful place and a compassionate place. Very good. Also, we have from Dominique Crossy on Twitter. How important is diet to workout intensity if you're 50? So this is primarily for some of our older um, guys and girls. You know, I think uh, a lot of people ask, you know, what's more important? I think they're all important. Mm -hmm. I think if you, you give one more significance than the other, then you take away from something that, you know, that, that could be important to the next person. It's not one size fits all. You can't say, oh, you know, diet's eighty percent, exercise is twenty percent at fifty. Yeah. I think that that it changes per person, and I think the movement is so important. It's, mm-hmm. it's uh, our bodies are meant to move, and a lot of us live from the neck up. The food we put in our body send a signal to our brain that says, you know, I feel good, I feel healthy, or you know, I feel weak, and I feel I feel 
guilty or I feel miserable. So it's it's all very important. So I I can't really say that you know exercise is more important or food is more important. They're they're both very important. Well. Jesse, we have to let you go. Uh, they're giving us a signal, but I have to throw this in real quick. My mom just asked this this morning. <laughs> Who's your inspiration? <laughs> Obama. Just kidding. Um, I would say uh, my mom. My mom and my dad. They uh, they've done a big they've done a big thing, and they raised me, which was probably pretty difficult. And then on top of that, my son. He teaches me that uh, I need to keep my feet on the ground, and that inspires me. Awesome. Very well, good. thank you so thank very much, so Jesse. Much, thank you guys very much. So, Jesse Povelka, I mean, I, seriously. We, we could have interviewed him for three hours. Yeah, I'm sorry if we there's did not so get much. To your we're question, so sorry, we, people. We weren't able to schedule a three hour interview with him. <laughs> they don't sorry. let us, at least at this point. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, being able to see his personality on this show, you mm -hmm. see. He, I mean, he's obviously got the body that all the guys want and the women want to get a hold of. You could tell the ones that he trains are like, oh my God, I want Jesse. But, you know, you see a very uh, real human being sure. that is focused on driving people to their own success. Mm -hmm. And I think that really comes through on this show. Definitely. And, you know, there's one question that I wanted to get out, but we didn't have enough time is, so many times I hear from people when they're trying to lose weight or they're trying to, you know, maybe transform something about themselves, they say, well, sure, he could have a body like that because he was born with it. Mm. Or, oh, I'm not like that. My body type's not like that. So my question would have been, and I'm going to try to tweet Jesse as well, and then you guys can go to networks, N-E-T-W-O-R-X 21 at YouTube, subscribe, and you can find out the answer to this question. So I'm going to be asking Jesse on Twitter, you know, for those people that are having insecurities about their body and their body type, how can they overcome and can they achieve mm. that look, the perfect body that you're saying, even if they're, you know, 5'5", five, five, or maybe they're 6'2", or they tend to be skinny, or they tend to be a little overweight, mm -hmm. can they achieve that, you know, perfect image that, you know, we're all looking at, which Jesse is an example of that. He is, he is. So. Uh, I mean, he's got the body type I like. Like, I always say I don't want too bulky, but he's got, you know, I you just put like... I think 95% of the guys and you put, girls are like, yeah, Jesse. Well, you just put a cape and like, like, he could be the next Superman. Like, I could... Anyway, I'm just saying. Do you think he well now if he was a superhero, do you think he'd be more like Superman or more like a like a Captain America? Ooh. Or do you think he'd be like a Thor? I think he might be a little smaller uh, for Thor. Wow, did you just call him small? Well, small for <laughs> Thor. I mean, I, I, have, you, have you seen <laughs> Hemsworth? <laughs> have you seen him in Wait, person? <laughs> okay, you're right. Face. You're right. Okay, I I would think Jesse Although, would you know even what? agree I, with I, that. I Although know. Jesse, we should find oh, out what Jesse what? wants to I be. I actually don't know how tall Jesse is. Do you know how tall uh, Jesse is? Pretty tall. Okay, because Hemsworth. I mean, Hemsworth's a no, pretty but big but guy. Hemsworth is yeah. They, I, or they should put him next to really short people. But I think Robert Downey Jr. is pretty tall too. Where did, you know, I have no idea. Where did Robert Downey Jr. come from? Uh, he co-stars with Thor. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, but but <laughs> but you know, again, Jesse, congratulations on what you're doing. I yes. I love his. Uh, uh, you know, trainers. Of course, we've had Dolvet on our yes. show, uh, but I can't wait Jillian. to. Yeah, yeah, but Jillian's no more this yeah. year. Uh, well, I mean, she's she's exists, but she's right. no more on this season uh, unless they bring her back. But you know, they uh, they have somebody else filling her shoes, which I want to hopefully talk to. So we're going to put that out there into the universe. And if not, Jesse, can you hook us up? <laughs> with another interview with one of your uh, co-star trainers. But mm -hmm. anyway, thank you so very much for, uh, you know, being with us, Jesse. And again, thank you to the fans that tweeted in. Yes, and again, we will make sure that we have three hours next time with Jesse so yes. we can get all of your questions yes. out. Yes, all you have to do is just say, please, another interview, in-person interview. That's all you got to say. <laughs> I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. We'll be right back right after these messages. Welcome back to Live with Aaron and Kelly. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And I'm so excited because I'm so excited. I not only love Guardians of the Galaxy, again, I said I saw it twice. That's right, in 3D and then just regular 2D. And I'm ready to go back again just to experience it I even hope he'll take me. more so. Okay, I'll take you the third <laughs> time. And and I so I am honored and, and privileged to have, and I have to say, we've been Facebook friends for a while, Tom. 
But I'm glad we get to meet in person. Yay! Tom Proctor. Yay! Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, you know, you don't get to meet very many people on you know Facebook. Yeah. In person. Yeah. Know? That's why I created a show for us just so we meet. could just meet our Facebook friends. Yeah. That's really what this is about. <laughs> you, you, you know, the, the last time I realized that I've been friends with a guy on Facebook forever, I had just thrown him through a window on a movie set, and then I went, "Hey." Aren't we Facebook friends? <laughs> <laughs> that was after you threw him through the window. I through the window, I, I thought. love that. Because I kept thinking, it flashed like, through your head all of a sudden. I, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I, I mean, I got familiar. on IMDb and started looking for like, where did we work together? How come I know this guy? You know, he looks familiar, you know. And yeah. Then I'm, you know, with my history, when you remember somebody, you got to remember if it's a good thing or a bad thing. But anyway, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. so I'm, I'm like, what? Why do I know this guy from? And then right as I threw him, I went, oh. Because he did that same throw on Facebook. On, oh on his stunt. My he, he'd been thrown through his, another window. See, he so, branded yeah. himself yeah. on the yeah, Facebook. Yeah, so it was like, yeah. oh, once I yeah. went, oh, hey. Yeah. You know, we're friends on Facebook, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. You know, speaking of like stunt work, you do so much stunt work. You, you MMA fighter, I, I read in your bio. You get, drive a motorcycle. There's all this testosterone. What is, do you have another side to you that we don't know? Is there like a softer side of Tom? No such thing. <laughs> oh. um, my, my grandkids would argue with you and, and if I showed you a video that I have on my phone it would totally like ruin my reputation how many grandkids do you have? oh my god that's not fair <laughs> eight kids and they each had uh, you know in, in a 13 something like oh that my wow. god. that's <laughs> awesome it's different when you're a grandparent right like it's a different relationship than you have with your kids um, I got lucky I got to have the, the same relationship mm -hmm. over again because okay. I was gone a lot during my uh, kids growing up, mm -hmm. and and so they were all kind enough to have little clones of themselves, <laughs> so I could just grab those pieces that I <laughs> that I missed, and um, you know, you know, fortunately they they've all turned out wonderful, and none of them got in the business. Thank God. That's what I was going to oh. ask, actually. Yeah. I, so well, they they got in one at different did? levels. My one son okay. is a sound design. Okay. Cool. Nutcase. I mean, this guy chases trains all day to get the, the exact sound. Oh wow! And and, uh, <laughs> and um, my other son is a producer, writer. Uh, wrote uh, a movie that I directed. Uh, oh. They, uh, my wife and and kids all come from a musical theater background. Mm -hmm. um, my boys all know how to fight, just chose not to. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, my daughters chose to. It killed me. Oh, it that must why? as a father? What do you mean why? why? As a father? Why? Oh, because it don't matter. I don't know. I'm not a guy. I've never That's I'm not your a father. Daughter. It's your daughter. I'm just a daughter. That's all I know how to be. You know, everybody's yelling, yeah, yeah, she's clobbering, she's clobbering. And all oh, I see yeah. is no, well, that's my baby girl, you know, oh, and it's like I got uh, it, I got it. Yeah, but you know the biggest. See, there's a you asked for the testosterone, and then what's the, the flip side? That, there it is. That's the oh. softer side. There we got to it. That's oh, the Oprah moment right there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid. I'm afraid there there is, and in it, it's. Uh, but the one thing I'm really proud of is, is uh, you know, my one daughter is in Utah, and uh, she sends me this video of my six year old grandson. And it's my daughter in the background training her, training him the same way I trained her. Oh, get back out, pop, 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 pop. He hit the back. Get back out, pop, pop, pop. And it's it's so beautiful, and the attitude that's came with it from the fight things. I got one of the things on my phone. I know we don't have time to do it here, but I'll show you. My one granddaughter tells me, "I'm going to be a waitress, Bumpa, and I'm going to take your order." And I said, "Well, Aww. well, now how are you going to be?" You, I said, "You got to go to school first. You got to learn to read and write before you can be a waitress." Aww. And she says, "Oh, Grandpa." We don't ever let the little things stop us. We can do anything. And I said, what makes wow. you think you can do anything? And she said, well, because I'm a girl. And I thought, yes. You did well. <laughs> you did a good job. Because that came across. And then yeah. so she said, I said, okay, take my order. I said, I'd like a cup of coffee. And she drew a picture of a cup of coffee. And so I said, I'd like eggs. And she drew a picture of the eggs. And I said, I'd like some steak with the eggs and she realized that this is grandpa's steak so therefore it took <laughs> she's a smart cookie <laughs> and i said i'd like some hash browns and she gets this puzzled look and she goes 
I'm afraid you're going to have to have potatoes because I don't know how to draw hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> what a clever one, Six. I love it. That's so cute. beautiful. I mean, those are the moments in life you just can't replace those. You, you absolutely can. Yeah. So, so I'm assuming a big chunk of your family went to go see you in Galaxy, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh-huh. It was one of the few films. That sure. Right, right, right. Sure. You could be yeah. like, go ahead. Yes. Feel free. Goes, you, know, a, 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 you know, there's a lot of times where my kids and my grandkids will say, Grandpa, what are you working on? And I'll go, um, it's a mayonnaise commercial. Because <laughs> that like ends. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to see a mayonnaise yeah, commercial? Really that's, that's like, for that. There's no more questions after <laughs> okay. that. Unless you're like, how many mayonnaise commercials can this guy do? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the six year old's gonna catch on to that. I gotta feel. Yeah, they, you know, uh, you know, I, they're getting to some of my grandkids, especially, are getting to an age where I where I just tell them it's a movie they shouldn't see. Mm-hmm. Right yeah, now. and so that was one of the exciting things about Guardians was, yes, finally. Mm-hmm. This is one that I can mm-hmm. tell my grandkids, yes, go see it. Uh, you know, my kids, you know, I've been brought up in it, though. And when when they were little, because we had, in Halloween 6, we were given tickets to the premiere. And they all said, we got to go see it in Halloween 6. And I'm going, oh, my God, that is not a, a, a movie I want my kids to see. Right, right. So we walked in, took up a whole roll. And at this time, they were all real little, four or five, uh, you know. And... We walked into the part where Michael Myers kills me on my spinal cord. It's out oh the back of my God. neck. Right. And all my whole family stood up and said, yay! <laughs> and then walked out of the theater. Oh, <laughs> how did that make you feel? They were clapping after that. Well, that, that, that's, that's all they, they went they to go see. That's all they wanted they to see. They were just happy. Sure. I, was just, I was just thrilled that they only wanted to see that. Oh. I was wondering, could we fast forward to just that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I really would like them to somehow not see the rest. Right, oh. right, right, right. Oh, okay, okay. We, I'm, I'm sorry. We have had callers uh, yeah. on the line we since the beginning of our show waiting to speak with you, Tom. So okay. we have got to put a couple of our callers through. If you want to call in right now, you can call 909-888-5222, 909-888-5222. And speak with Tom. So caller number one. You are on live with Aaron and Kelly. What's your name? Lisa. Hi, Hi Lisa. Lisa. Okay, so what's Where are you your calling name? in from, Lisa? Salt Lake City. Hey. Oh. Welcome to Live with Aaron and Kelly. Thank you. We've got Tom in the studio. What question do you have for him? Hey, so I have a question about Guardians of the Galaxy. First off, huge fan. Love everything that I've seen you in. But I want to know... In the end, we see your ship crash. Do you, I mean, you're a pretty tough character. Do you actually die or do we get to see you in a sequel? Like number two. Well, that's, that, that, that's a good question because, uh, and I've had several people say, did you die? Did you not die? Um, That was, that was, uh, you know, one of the questions that I put to James Gunn as well, you know, saying, hey, <laughs> Horace needs to come back, you know. <laughs> that's right. And so, yeah. so that that's out there and it is a possibility and uh, because you really don't see his ship go down. And you did see Yondo's ship go down and you see he's just absolutely fine. And uh, right. anybody who knows me has seen more than just my ship go down and sees that I get back up. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so possibly. Okay, well, possibly. Well, I'm voting for it. And thank you so much. I'm a huge, huge fan. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for calling in, Lisa. Thank you so very much, thank Lisa. You. Okay. okay. So now we got uh, caller number two. two. Uh, welcome to Live with Aaron Kelly. Who are we speaking with? Hello, line number two. Becky? They might have Becky. stepped away. Hello. Oh, Becky. Oh, hey, Parker. Becky. I wasn't sure if it was my turn or not. It's <laughs> your turn, yes. Yay. Where are you calling Hi, in from, Parker. Becky? I'm calling from Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Awesome. Oh, Kentucky. Awesome. What's your question for I, Tom? Honestly, I don't have a question for Tom. Tom's a good friend of mine. We're friends on Facebook as well. And I just wanted to call and tell him how fantastic I think he is and what a great job he has done. And and I, he's just done so many great projects just recently in his career, and I'm so excited to see where he goes next. Well, thank you so much, Becky. I really appreciate you. And I, you know what? I love your comments on Facebook, and I love 
your relationship with those adorable kids you have. Oh, thank you so much. I just, it, everything you post makes me smile. I, 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 could, I could come steal them, add them to my batch and, batch and they'd fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we could share. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> daughter i'll share the little red-headed boy okay there you go <laughs> That's all i right. think we're developing a new reality show right here on live with Aaron and <laughs> oh thank you so very much becky for calling in thank you guys have a great day. And, f- and friend us on Facebook, Aaron M. Sanchez and Kelly B. Dolan. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, isn't that funny how social media has changed the way things people and the way people interact with, you know, you at, you know, you're on, on camera. You know, there used to be a time where you never saw what your fans look like. Now you're seeing them and you're hearing their comments. What does that do to you? Um, you know what? I like it. it. It makes it more more personal. And especially lately, I spend a lot of time on Facebook and Twitter and, and answering two uh fans and even mm-hmm. uh a lot of i uh, i've had real been really blessed with a lot of because i i still do a lot of the indie shoots i have a really weak spot for a good script even mm-hmm. regardless of their budget mm-hmm. and so i wind up mentoring a lot of uh actors coming up and stunt people and it's awesome because even sometimes I'll find somebody that was like too shy to approach me on set. Mm-hmm. Didn't want to ask me a question on set. Mm-hmm. They'll later friend me on Facebook and then say, <laughs> awesome. Hey, how, how do you know if you got a good agent or not? What do you know mm-hmm. if this, mm-hmm. what do you know if that, and what do I need to get, you know, you know where I'm going? Mm-hmm. And, um, I don't, you know, I don't pretend to have the answers of what to do. But I damn sure know what not to do because <laughs> right. I don't think there's. I, I think you'd have to go down a long list before you would uh, find a mistake that I haven't made. <laughs> and, and, and that's life. I mean, it. in this sure. career, because there's no textbook way of doing it, right? I mean, like you said, especially independent yeah. films. I mean, you're doing sometimes three jobs just you know to get it done. Yes, mm-hmm. and um, and sometimes you know you don't. You know the the, the main thing is you know you get your like at my level, you get your agent on your back, and oh, if you're not listening to this, but um, <laughs> you know, she said, she's I gonna get, call in. I get double scale for you on on Criminal Minds, and you're gonna go do an indie film for, uh, for three hundred a day or five hundred a day. And mm-hmm. I go, did you read the script? Mm-hmm. Did you see the people yeah, involved? Yeah. And you know, I did a, a short film that was horrifying. I did not want to do it because it was, I beat up a little. A adorable little boy and rape a little girl and um but that film was a film to raise awareness of child abuse and mm, okay. it was a film that launched that director got him representation and everything mm. like that mm. and um i see and, your choice yes yeah. and and and, and and it was one of these things because i have played games with my kids and my grandkids so much that it was all fun and games on set Everybody mm-hmm. laughing, and that was the rule for me doing it. Mm-hmm. Was number one, the, the kid, no, no kid, sad for a second on my set, mm-hmm. you know, and um, and so that was really cool because the the fight scene with the little girl was actually a tickle fight from behind, mm-hmm. and she was very ticklish. So the lower camera angle, she actually kicked me in the chest and the face twice. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and then wow. uh, when it came time to, for us to have a scream where she had to actually look horrified and scream get the horrified look i told her we're gonna scare the camera girl mm-hmm. and she goes okay and i said no it's very oh, very important that's so smart that you wait till that camera dollies up right past me right when it's right past me not a second sooner not a second later and so she was just all intent on looking at this camera to see where it came past and it read as fear mm-hmm. and then she could scream <laughs> yeah <laughs> and yeah. and to her it was a just a, a big joke and i told her it was funny because on that last take, they got to see me coming at her too. I said, okay, this time I'm going to come at you with a mean face. She goes, okay. And then I said, and then you'll scream. And, she, and then she goes, okay. And we're bubbling along. And she goes, but wait a minute. You don't have a mean face. I said, oh, yeah, I do. I can do this. Watch. Uh-huh. <laughs> she goes, that's not a mean face. That's a goofy face. And I said, well, how about this? Uh-huh. Goes, no, that's a pig face. And I said, well, how am I going to do a mean face then? She goes, and so she proceeds to show me. She goes, okay, first you roll your shoulders forward like this. Then you bring your forehead down and 
crunch your eyebrows. And I said, she directed you. Yeah. You had her direct you. I had her direct. So then, yeah, and I so I said, to... so like this. And she goes, yeah, that looks mean. <laughs> She's always... And I said, okay, <laughs> we'll wow. use that one. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. worked. I love it. I and love that. and uh, it, worked, it worked out great. Okay, we got another caller on the line. Uh, I believe this is Margie. Margie, welcome to Live with Aaron and Kelly. Hi, thank you. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from Los Angeles. Awesome. Hi. What's your question for Tom, Margie? Well, I've um, wanted to be a director for some time. I know you've directed a lot of things, and you've um, uh, worked with some really great directors. Tell me what it takes to be a really great director. Um, James Gunn was your most recent um, experience, if you want to talk about that. I'll uh, take my answer off the air. Okay, I you know you know I um I would say what it takes to be a real great director is mainly to number one have a passion about what you're directing and directing in general. Uh, I had two really really fun sets uh, with uh, Quentin Tarantino on Django Unchained. Mm -hmm. He would do things like have music playing in between things and mm. and the whole group involved. He wanted his crew happy. And um, uh, James Gunn, I think the only thing that had more laughs than the movie was the making the movie. Because uh, it was just, I mean, it was serious. We did our thing. He expressed what he wanted. But I, I think it's a matter of just being able to lead people, make them want your vision to come true. And that, I think, is done more by just respect for the crew you're working with mm -hmm. and a passion for the project uh, that you have. When you've got a director that knows exactly what they want, they've storyboarded out, they've, they've painted their vision, they've very, very clearly given you what you want, what they want. And you know that that picture that's in your head is the same as the picture that's in their head. Oh my gosh, that's heaven. Imagine. Because that, a good actor can deliver. Mm -hmm. But when they get there and they're not really sure and they're not really, you know, I've had sets where I've had to go, okay, you're going to put the camera here and this camera here and this is why. What is the intention? I've I've been on sets where I had to ask, what is the intention? What's the intention you want out of the scene? What's the intention you want out of the shot? And um, sometimes it doesn't coincide, coincide with the script. So I guess the short answer is know what you want, be able to communicate it, and, and in a positive, creative way, have everybody involved. When you're directing a film, you're making a painting that requires a minimum of 40 other people to have the same vision in their head mm -hmm. as you have in your head versus the guy who just paints on a canvas. He only has to have that vision in his head. Wow. Well, I, I hope that answered your question, Margie. Yeah, thank you. I especially like the painting analogy. I'll try to work on that. Mm -hmm. All right, Margie. Thank you for calling in live with Darren and Kelly. Intention. And uh, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, we have more of Tom. We're going to play a little unspeakable with him right here on Live with Aaron Kelly. Don't go anywhere. We've got Tom Proctor in studio. And Kelly. I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And it's what you guys are always excited about. It is time for Unspeakable, Unspeakable with Tom Proctor. Okay, Tom. So the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to play around with you and then Aaron's going to play around. And for those that have never played Unspeakable, basically what you try to do is you try to get the other person to guess a word. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is there's five words underneath it that you cannot say. And those are the ones that you want to say. And since we're competing on this... What do we Ooh. to the best woman or man <clears throat> that wins? What do we win? You set it up, Erin. <laughs> Can I get like a lifeline to my wife? She's a real good word person. Sure. Yes. Absolutely. If you want to. <laughs> no, yeah. Just, I was kidding. <laughs> we're, like, we're like, Tom, we'll you're here. You we'll say yes to anything you ask for. We're so excited to have you in here. Especially um, with this new character. I have to say real quick, what's your yeah. new character with the, with the horns? Tell us real quick. Just real quick. Oh, that's my BFF, Satan. Yeah. He's my best friend forever, Satan. It's a anti-bullying television show. 
And who better to teach uh, against bullying than Satan? Oh my gosh! Is this on like, online just, or whatever? It, we're, we're just uh, so putting it together. It's a television show that we okay. just started shooting on uh, the pilot, and it's it's so awesome because what happens is this little kid that's bullied to death, really innocent, mm -hmm. winds up being in charge of Satan by accident. You, okay. can, you can see it on mybffsatan.com. Okay. But uh, is it animation or no? no it, I was thinking like it's him. Adult I'll show you the video. Oh, it's him. Hilarious. Where can and people check it out? Scary. Where can people, what, where can people check it out once it's out? What, what, how they, can they get in touch with you? Um, the best way to get in touch with is by there's a Facebook. Okay. My, my BFF Satan on Facebook okay. and my BFF Satan dot com. Okay, perfect. It's awesome. crazy. Awesome. Okay. I mean, you. I. I'm telling you, it's scary. All right, okay. I think we've got enough time to play two rounds. So here we okay, go. Are you ready? Go. I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Um, okay, and oh, um, oh, oh, um, it's a porno. Okay, if you're, you're hilarious. Oh, and, when mm. you are about to read a script, it's the what part of the script? It's the title. Um, no, if you're about to In start a work synopsis. out, it's in the, in, in the front part of it's the front part. It's the introduction. The, it's the, the it's a synopsis. Oh my and gosh! Genesis in the book of Bible is the is the the b b b b begins with the no no you cannot do it. no you cannot <laughs> beginning. Okay, never mind. Let's go on. Wow, okay, he, he okay. could he, he was enough. right okay, there. Okay. He could have something had that's it. really 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 <laughs> really. <laughs> Really warm, really warm, really warm, really warm. We're moving on to another, another oh, one. Really, another. really warm. I, I, I eat it and I put it on nachos and it's really like ah, uh, hot sauce. Uh, uh, Tabasco. They're 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 like uh <laughs> like the same color as l l salad. It's, uh, it, they're, uh, they're they're like this big and they, oh, you, they're uh, on yeah. nachos. Oh, chilies. No. No. What uh, type of nachos? No, oh, they're, they're the uh, green ones. I know what they are. The, uh, uh, oh, hey. Um. Nice. Hello. Uh, jalapenos. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh. Oh. When you eat, like, um, in the morning, what do you eat if you go to a bakery? Uh, if you go to a bakery, you uh, uh Dunkin. Donut. Okay. And what kind of are there? There's the ones with like the white stuff on it. it what do you call that? The on uh, the. The white stuff on it. The white stuff on those <laughs> things. The white stuff on what you just said. So you're going back to a porno again. No! <laughs> Oh, rhymes with blaze. Oh, oh, you blaze. Can't, donuts. You gotta stop Jeez. doing it. Okay, not vanilla, but see there you go with the button. Not vanilla, uh, vanilla, what, strawberry. What's your priority? Vanilla. I mean, this is just wrong, man. I mean, you seem like Some, a decent girl. To somehow, me. this entire game went so sexual, but we did get two. We, we got did two. Get Yay! Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. Oh God. I can I, see I, it was I, kind of a porno though, right? Oh Midways. God. Midways. I totally you know, got that. But look you at the words it. I got. But look oh, wait, look at the words I got. Glaze, chocolate, don't I mean, like, all these, I mean that kind of sounds like an early breakfast porno. All right, let's you know, go. Let's keep it going. Them okay. indies. Okay. okay. What do you want from the direction of this scene? Okay, ready? Are you okay, ready? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I can't when when you are in a so when, when you see a soft porn like you and she puts Wait, on what? like you know cream and usually what, what what type of thing is this like? Oh my god! What no are you licking on? No, no, it's like it's it's not a it's not a vegetable. <laughs> it's a I think he's trying to go. He's trying it's not to a vegetable. With you. It's a it's a uh, fruit. Uh huh. And okay, but this no, kind of fruit. It. No, no, is a Ooh, like banana. it's banana. Uh, but oh, women no. love this like. <laughs> Like chocolate Bro and wait, I think uh, I know where he's going with the and, banana. <laughs> uh, you are not chocolate you and not do chocolate that. Chocolate nuts. <laughs> I don't know. He said no. women love it. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> chocolate. No, no. The other thing, like chocolate, like it's oh my god, it's, kids it's red. and grandchildren at oh, home, can't. please do not tune into this. <laughs> did you just say red? No, I didn't. You did. No, you I didn't. Did. Be fair. It, you just did. It rhymes with lawberry. No, stop it. You didn't get that. Oh, strawberry. There he goes. <laughs> okay, I won't count that one. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are on. Women love those with We are on this round thing. It's I'm called. It's it's in the galaxy, but ours oh, is special. God, it's called. No, 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 no. Where we where no. we're on right now? 
like the <laughs> we're not in galaxy. We're not in Jupiter. We're on Earth. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Goodness. See, he came for, back from an alien and came back. Okay. Uh, I can't see it. Oh, this is uh, something like um. Oh goodness. Um, like you you take. Oh, oh, oh I can't say that. Uh, no. You, uh, you he, just said it. You no. Just I said take. take. Whatever. You just said. No, I said take. I said take. No, that's not right. You said oh, fine, the word. Fine. Okay. Oh. Oh. When uh, this is that was a, two that you didn't you, say. Quiet. She's distracting me. Okay, you don't play the piano. You play <laughs> the <laughs> drums. Yes. Oh, you. You know, you do that all the time. Okay. okay. Oh, it, women like this for their eyebrows, it. or they put stuff in their Stop their it. skin. Uh, it's Botox. Are you kidding yeah, but and, and no. what's that called? That procedure no, no. or no. Uh, you uh, just said it. Botox. No. Oh wait, no. Okay. Surgery. No. That was. It sounds word. like surgery. Okay, you guys got one. We got two. You got one. We got two. You, you so you still want? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we, won, uh, we won. We won. We won. But you know what? Collectively, me and you, Aaron, we got three. <laughs> we did. So let's, we let's got take it. the higher number. Um, Tom Proctor, any any last words <laughs> that you want to say on our show? We've got a couple of minutes. Um, any upcoming projects? Anything you want to talk about? I uh, I just want to just set, tell you guys thanks for having me down here and being Aww. so much fun. Thank you that, for coming. Yeah, out. thank that you. Is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I just finished a, a movie called finding Eden that'll be coming out in 2015 um where it's kind of uh mad max meets walking dead on the walking dead are actually not zombies they're just people that eat other people because of desperate times <laughs> they call for desperate measures desperate measures yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh <laughs> You know, quite fun. I, I killed a lot of beautiful women on that. Uh, That's set. always fun. And I was the beautiful women. I mean, why, the beautiful women. Why we kill? Keep these? the. I, I mean, think you should keep the be- beautiful women. I mean, how? What? Why? Why would you want to kill some beautiful women? Exactly. Why, do you, no, why, keep you, why, why do you kill all of them? You can only oh, eat I thought them one you said at a time, was... anyway. <laughs> Now we're really getting oh, into you. You know, you set me up. I mean, I mean, you know, you just like, set me up. Oh, 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 a whole other conversation, oh, Tom. Boy. You don't know how my mind works. Oh, Seriously, don't Aaron, get her. She's Aaron already and there. And, and Jose know She's where my mind there. just went. Uh, there goes... The, it, He's out next thing you know, night. Howard Stern's going to be sitting here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the show's gone another oh, direction. Oh, God. You, you know, but I, and I want to thank you. I, and I want to say something really quick. And this is interesting. He's, he, when I asked him to come on, he's like, I think you have the wrong person. I was like, what are you talking about? You're yeah. Tom Proctor. And he's like, oh, really? Like, yeah. Tom. Well, it's like I was in the movie, like, um, you know. I wasn't like one of the, the stars in it. But you have, Man, no, you were in it. Sure. I recognized you and you had a speaking role in it. And on top of that, you're going to come out on the second one because we have put that out there. Yeah. Yes, and we are. and yeah, yeah. we are following your yeah. director uh, on, on Instagram. He posts those all the time. Real quick, was there anything in there that that wasn't used that you know of? Yeah. Oh, yes. What? Tell us. Oh, there was some, there was some, the guy that, that was um, playing around with the headset mm-hmm. was... There, they had did this whole funny dance things deal that was not used. Okay. The in the gambling where the um, animals were on the table, mm-hmm. there's a you know I talked to some people and there was a gal that was the dealer that used uh, did a whole bunch of um, learned a whole language for it from what I understand and that wasn't used. There was a lot of things that I know James would. It will probably release in the in the outtakes in the outtakes. Okay, and J- James Gunn is nothing short of brilliant. Okay, we uh, we thank you so very much, yes, Tom, for coming in. You. We want to remind everybody two VIP passes at La Femme Film Festival. Uh, go to our Facebook, go to our YouTube, Facebook Air, Live with Aaron and Kelly, and YouTube Networks Twenty One. We thank you so very much for visiting us this week and every week. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez, and I'm Kelly V Dolan. We'll Thanks. see you next week, everyone. <laughs>